Hi there, Winnie here from Draw So Cute. In this video, we're going to draw my Draw So Cute Justin Bieber. So let's get started. With Justin, we're going to first start by drawing his face. So right here, I'm going to be drawing a big curve. I'm going to come here, but right here, I'm going to start to draw, come down, and I'm going to bring it around. And I'm going to go up. So if you're using a pencil, just go all the way up to this uh, um, same height as this line that you started. But I'm going to stop right here because I'm using a Sharpie and I know that I have a strand up here that comes down. So from here, I'm going to go up to the center and then over to the side right here. So I'm going to go pretty high up because um, he's wearing a bandana and I'm having him have this hair that sweeps down. So um, just go up. I'm going to go about right here. I'm going to go across and from here I'm going to give myself a point. So that's where his hair parts right here. So I'm going to start by drawing a curve that comes down on this side. And I'm just going to come about right there and draw a strand of hair. Comes up. And then from here I'm going to draw another strand. This one is the one that comes all the way down. So I'm going to come up. the way down and curve it out. So this side is the short hair and this side has the long hair. So from here I'm going to go up with this strand. So thinner at the bottom and thicker as it goes up and I'm going to sweep it out. And so from here because I know this is where his hair parts I'm going to start everything from here. So I'm going to go up a little bit I'm going to give myself another point and I'm going to start to come down this side. So come down, give yourself a little curve out just to make it more interesting. Bring it in and another curve. Then before we finish that, let's go ahead and um, draw the other side first because we still have to figure out his ear and his eyes. So let's go about right here again. We're going to come over and go up. And just sweep it in and then come up one more and this is going to be the top of his hair now so go up and I'm gonna come start to come down sweep it out so when you sweep out with your Sharpie it becomes m much nicer and thinner that's why you want to at the points is where you sweep it out and then come back in and then sweep out another strand right here. I'm going to start to come out of a curve and bring it back. So I'm going to go under and I'm going to go in zigzagging just to finish off his hair. So I'm going to come in here and finish off my line for his face and some details. So you can come in here and just draw some strands. Maybe another one here and one more. So we got his hair in on this side. So let's go in and bring him to life and give him his draw so cute eyes. So about right here, I'm going to draw a circle. My circle is getting out of hand. <laughs> and I'm going to come across and draw another circle. So this eye right here is pretty much covered. So just part of a circle. And let's go in here and give him his draw so cute eyes. So two small circles at an angle and curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. So I hope you like the outfit that I gave Justin and like with so many of these uh, celebrities that I draw when I don't have a um, exact video to go by <laughs> it's hard for me to figure out what kind of outfit to give them and so that's like one of the hardest parts so I just picked what um, this outfit for him that he usually kind of wears so I hope you, li you like it so on this eye right here, because it's pretty much covered up, but you don't want to just make it black because that would kind of look really weird. 
So I'm just gonna come in here and just draw maybe like part of one highlight and a curve line at the bottom and shade it in. And lines at the bottom. And so then for um, because he um, is a boy, I'm gonna not give him the lashes that I usually do for the girls. So I'm gonna come out here, I'm gonna follow my curve, and I'm going to draw a line, a curve line, right on top, just to anchor his eyes. And so from here I'm gonna draw his eyebrows. So I'm gonna come over here and Draw a curve and I'm going to come up and thicken it out. So I'm going to go up because he has pretty thick lashes and bring it in. So on this side you won't see it so I don't have to draw it. And so then um, from there let's give him his smile, <laughs> his uh, cute smile. So I'm going to come up right here, let's give him his smirk smile. And from here above his eyebrows I'm going to draw his bandana. So I'm going to come about right here and draw a curve, let's see, curve that goes across and another one band right there to finish off the bandana. And so for some details on his bandana, it's just a pattern, I'm simplifying it. It's kind of like drawing a um, teardrop and I'm just going to come in here and thicken it. And so his bandana is, um, the one that I saw is black and white. So I'm just going to come in here and randomly draw maybe three of them. So that's his bandana right there. And now let's, oh, <laughs> I almost forgot his ear. So because we know his eyes here, now we know his ear should be about right here. I'm going to pop out an ear. So I'm going to curve and come around. And so details in the ear, draw a curve and then another one going this way just to simplify it and now we can finish off his ear hair I mean so just gonna come in here draw some curves and so then let's go and draw his body so from in the center I'm going to draw a curve for his neckline and I'm giving him this oversized uh, t-shirts that he likes to wear so right here I'm going to draw a curve for his shoulder And right here I'm going to start to draw a, um, the two angle lines. So imagine his armpits about right here. So I'm just going to come in here and draw two angle lines. And this one's a little bit shorter because I know I have an arm that comes into his pocket. But once again, if you're using a pencil, just go all the way through to this um, same spot here. So let's go in here and um, finish off this sleeve. So it's an oversized shirt, so the sleeves are pretty long. So I'm just going to come curve it in. So same thing on this side. Go all the way down, so coming across, making sure it's about the same. Curve it. And so let's start to draw this arm first. So I'm just having it kind of sitting at the side. So I'm going to continue this down a little bit more. And I'm going to imagine his arms are right here and his elbow is going to be about right here. So I'm going to slightly curve it down. And then I'm going to give him a thumb right here. One. And then his finger. So this one's longer. Curve it around. This was a little bit too, I would have to erase that part right there. It's not that sharp in, it's more of a out, curved out. So then this side right here, I'm going to bring another arm in. So this one is in his pocket. So about right here, I'm going to draw a curve, bring it in. So I'm going to continue this one right here. This elbow, I'm going to start to bring it in. And then right here, I'm going to draw a curve. And another curve. So it kind of makes them all make sense when I finish it up. So here I'm just going to finish off my shirt. And so then from here we're going to um, connect this a line. So this shirt is pretty long. It's one of those big oversized ones. So I'm just going to kind of wobble my curve across. 
And then he's uh, known for those uh, layers that he wears. And so I'm just gonna draw a curve under here. Go back to that point where your arm is. And so from there, um, I'm gonna draw two angle lines. So, cause his, he likes to kind of stand with his legs apart. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna draw two angle lines. But my angle lines are gonna be a slightly wobbly a little bit towards the bottom right here because he's wearing these jeans and they have lots of uh, creases in them <laughs> and holes <laughs> so i'm going to do that all the way across just a little wobbly and then right here what's important is you have to draw this line to finish off his pants starting from here because his arm is inside his pocket so this line right here will start about right here and it's going to start to taper down for his legs. So by putting the line right here outside of this arm, it makes it look like his um, hands is inside his pocket. So then we're going to continue this, and we're just wobbling, kind of curve a little bit as we go down. So this one right here is the same thing. We're going to start by right here, curve, and then go all the way down for his um, jeans. And so then um, about right here, we're gonna draw his knees. So before I finish his legs, I'm gonna come in here and um, draw the little holes that he has in his jeans. <laughs> and so I'm just gonna kind of give it a curve, zigzag it a little bit. So rips, zigzag, kind of wobbly lines. And so then he has all these tears in it. So I'm just gonna go back and forth zigzags in his jeans. So just trying to mimic the tears. So just come in here with all the little curves and tears. <laughs> and so then for his feet. So for his feet, I'm just giving him this really plain shoes that he's wear he likes to wear. So I'm gonna come out around and right here I'm gonna continue it down a little bit more and bring it in. And so for this shoe, I'm gonna curve it right here, bring it in and connect it. And then for the bottom part, I'm just gonna put a line under it right there. So let's do the same thing other side. We're gonna stub it right here. We're gonna go around and right here, continue down and connect it. So once again, just like this part, we're gonna go up, down, and then across. So once again, at the bottom here, just draw a line that follows the bottom around. And just come in here for some more some more tears and wrinkles <laughs> and so when I color it it'll be a lot um, it'll show up a little bit better because I can put in the nice shadows and the highlights so just to make sure with this hand that it does go in right here with the pocket and the hand goes in right here and he likes to wear these little um, string bracelets so I just thought it'd be nice to just give him a little bracelet right here just some details and right here he has this bracelet that he wears so I'm just gonna come in here just to add some detail so his hands are not so plain and he has all these tattoos but I'm not gonna draw them <laughs> I might paint them in but we'll see so um, there my Justin Bieber standing with his uh, swagger that he has <laughs> And I hope you like how I drew him and I made it easy for you to follow. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe so you won't miss any new Jossa Cute videos. See you later.